Welcome to our Good Friday pre-recorded service for Nambour Wesleyan Methodist Church. As I said, I'm Scott Lucas, the pastor here at Nambour Wesleyan, and it is my great privilege to welcome you to our Good Friday service today. Let us begin in prayer. We come and we gather again in the shadow of the cross of Christ. We gather to remember the overwhelming evidence of love's ultimate sacrifice who would have guessed that the height and depth the length and the width of your love lord god might look like this a forsaken savior on a cross not us who can get lost amid the world's distractions and responsibilities not us for whom such love was offered without cost let us again gather in the shadow of the cross of christ and commit ourselves to remember the price paid. Let us live our lives in a way that indicates why this Friday is called good. Thanks be to you, our Lord God, who opened the gates of heaven, that we might have the faith, hope and love witnessed in Christ's sacrifice for our salvation. We gather to worship you today, led by the Holy Spirit, in Jesus our Saviour's name. Amen. I'd like to share with you our scripture for today. John chapter 14 verses 1 to 14. This may seem a little unconventional for Good Friday, but bear with me as we share our message with you today. God's message for us. John chapter 14 verses 1 to 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled, said Jesus. You believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me so that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, don't you know me, Philip? even after I've been among you for such a long time? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am the Father and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing and they will do even greater things than these because I'm going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. This is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. 